Only the final day of play remains in the opening weekend of the U.S. Youth Soccer National League, with today's matches helping to solidify team standings for the weekend. College coaches and national team scouts continue to line the fields in search of some of the nation's top players who are ready to compete at the next level. It's a quality event with quality players, and it's very competitive. And there's obviously something to play for. Everybody wants to be a national champion. So we're here to check it out. We know that there's good teams here and good players that are representing those teams. What sets it apart is just the quality of play. I mean, the level here is unbelievable. I mean, there are, there are kids on every team that, that certainly have next level potential and ability. And, you know, just for us to be able to, here to represent our state and our club, it's just a great opportunity for us and the kids. You know, obviously there's a, a bevy of college coaches and, and national team scouts and things like that out here. So um, just the opportunity for those kids is probably the most important thing. The Classics Eagles Red of Ohio South knew they were in for a challenge as they met the reigning Region 1 champion Lehigh Valley United of Eastern Pennsylvania in the under-15 boys' red division. Josh McErlin gladly stepped up in the 9th and 11th minutes to give Classics the 2-0 advantage. Wrapping up the 3-0 shutout was a Hunter Robertson goal in the 75th for Classics to end day three with two wins and a tie. Coming in, everyone's saying that this team's like number two in the nation and we just came out and played, played our game, scored two goals early and then we had a free kick at the end I scored off of. So we played a good game and keep it up tomorrow. The under 15 boys blue division matched up two teams undefeated in league play with the OBGC Rangers of Maryland and FC Dallas Youth of North Texas. Tanner Gardner hit a fourth minute opener for the early FC Dallas lead. Minutes after the half, Luis Hernandez upped the FC Dallas lead to two, but Carl Brown countered for OBGC in the 48th. Paulo Sanchez added some cushion for FC Dallas in the 53rd, but OBGC again countered in the 71st with an Ishmael Lup Kamara goal. FC Dallas held on to the 3-2 lead for the win and a perfect record in the first three games. Scottsdale Soccer Blackhawks slotted a 2-0 victory over Lone Star's 96 Red of South Texas to remain at the top of the under-15 boys' blue division with three wins. U.S. Youth Soccer Region 4 ODP players Luis Lopez and Grant Lillard netted the two Scottsdale goals in the 12th and 80th minutes. Concord Fire of Georgia slated their third win of league play against Downtown Rapids' 95 Gold of Nevada with a 2-1 final result. The Rapids' Juan Carlos Regalado Jr. posted a goal in the 46th minute, but Concord countered in the 64th with a Kyle Richards goal. Shaban Abassad finalized the win with his 79th minute goal, allowing Concord to go into the final day of games undefeated and seated at the top of the under-16 boys' red division. Also in the under-16 boys' red division, Beachside of Connecticut and Bethesda of Maryland were both looking to capture their second win of league play, but the even matchup held true, resulting in the 0-0 final. The two teams both hold a 1-0-2 record, but Bethesda holds the upper hand with a goal differential of four. 2010 Region 2 semifinalist Soccer's FC of Illinois went up 1-0 over Everest SC Black of Ohio North with a ninth-minute Jacob Bevan goal. The Soccers held tight to the lead until national team player James Haunt broke out with a 77th-minute Everest goal. The game looked to end in a tie until Brian Burroughs secured the Everest win in the final minute of play for the 2-1 final. In the under-17 boys' blue division, the reigning Region 1 champion, PSC Copa of Eastern Pennsylvania, and the 2009-2010 National League runner-up, Blast FC of Ohio South, met on the field today. Kevin Nelms found the back of the net for PSC in the 29th minute, and as the clock ran down, the game looked to end with a 1-0 decision. In the 90th minute, Emmanuel Apaya hit the blast equalizer for the 1-1 knot. In the under-17 boys' blue division, Annandale United of Virginia and Waza FC of Michigan held one another off in a game that was sure to end in zeros across the board. Annandale's game changer came from Eric Schmidt in the 90th minute for the team to tally their second win of league play. Sereno 94 White of Arizona were sitting at the top of the under-17 boys' blue division, entering today's match against Javanon 94 of Kentucky. 
this guy's won both games yesterday and the day before, so we couldn't get nine points if I, ahead of us. We only have four points. I mean, we can't let a team like that. They're a pretty good team. We can't let them get the front row on everybody. I mean, so this was a must-win game for us. John Manga put Javanon up 1-0 in the 37th minute. Serino kept the Javanon keeper on his toes with multiple shots on goal, but were unable to finish. Our defense did a great job. I mean, it all credit to Vince, our goalkeeper. He, he stayed with us this whole weekend, pretty much. I mean, he has made some amazing saves in a goal. The game ended with a 1-0 final score to move Serino into third and Javanon into second place in the division.